step into a sensory deprivation tank in the outside world, it all drops away. The water sits at skin temperature, about 93 to 94 degrees Fahrenheit, roughly 34 degrees Celsius. After a moment, you stop feeling the edge between your body and all the water. There's salt in the tank, and it keeps you floating without any effort. The space goes dark. It's quiet. Sight, sound, touch. It's all gone. And your brain suddenly has almost nothing new to take in. Under normal conditions, the brain is always busy. It tracks small changes in light, vibration, temperature, pressure. It listens for background noises, even when you think they're relaxed. When that feed shuts down, the mind shifts inward. Researchers in the 1950s learned that people in low input settings fall into slower internal rhythms. They start noticing signals that they usually overlook. Heartbeat. Breath. They stand out. Muscle tension becomes obvious. Some people feel creative thoughts drifting up and others notice time slipping away. Many who think they floated for 10 minutes find that they were in the tank for close to an hour. With fewer cues to check, the brain stops measuring time and settles into longer, steadier cycles. When the outside world gets too quiet for too long, the brain sometimes starts generating its own input. Early isolation studies, they showed subjects seeing faint shapes, hearing soft tones, or sensing light touches that weren't there. These weren't supernatural. They were the brain trying to fill a gap. And that's why modern float tanks keep sessions within set limits. The goal is calm and recovery, not confusion. Float therapy used today by athletes for recovery, by students during heavy study periods, and by people trying to step away from constant stress. It actually helps lives. And what makes the experience interesting is how quickly the shift takes hold. And within minutes, the outside fades and the inner world comes into focus. Sensory deprivation, it doesn't stop your brain. It just shows you how active your brain stays where the world finally quiets down. And how much tension comes from the noise that you don't even realize you're surrounded by. These are interesting things with JC.